So the next stop on our turkey tour is Nebraska. We drove all the way through the night, about 30 hours straight from Florida, and I'm up to shoot first because Josh lost a bet yeah. at Disney World. So that means <laughs> I'm up to bat first. And when we got into Nebraska, we unpacked. Yep, and Jacob's gonna be running the camera for us. So guess who's gonna try to double up this morning in Nebraska? how many birds are on the roost. We can literally see hundreds of them. Josh hits the call right out of the gate and a few start to fly down and we see a huge tom start to come over the hill. This bird is reading the script and he is coming right into our decoys. So Sarah just punched her first Nebraska tag. I brought my bow, so I'm up to bat now. We still have birds on the roost. We got a couple goblin behind us. And then the Mac Daddy bird himself comes over the hill with a bunch of hens. I'm not even sure what to say about this, but I'm literally watching a turkey breed the ground with no hen under him. So, I, you, I got nothing. So 
after that turkey finished his business with the ground, <laughs> he decided him and the entire group of hens were gonna come right into our setup. So we call in this entire group of turkeys. All the hens are about 15 to 20 yards in front of the tom. So the hens work their way all the way into the decoys. And when he comes up over the hill, I was gonna wait until he came into the decoys. But the problem was the hens were getting nervous. And I knew if I didn't take my shot now, the whole entire group could leave. We doubled up, heck yeah. <laughs> so we obviously just both shot toms. We're super excited. You know, we're gonna go over there and find Sarah's turkey because I mean, we heard it flopping. It yeah, we heard him flopping right behind the blind as soon as I shot. And if you rewatch the video, you'll actually see when he runs off, he tries to gobble, but he physically can't because of where I hit him. We reviewed the footage, we heard him flopping. We knew he could not be far. Unfortunately, yeah. um, we looked for him for about an hour, hour and a half, and turkeys are dark animals, and with the sun as high as it was, creating a ton of shadows, there were a lot of cedar trees where we were, and, you know, unfortunately, we were not able to locate my bird. We it thought... Was, it was it was tough. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the problem. When you're bow hunting turkeys and they run off, you know, they are the exact same shade as a shadow casted by the sun, and yeah. that, is, that is tough. That is tough finding... I know we looked and looked and looked mm -hmm. and checked every cedar, single cedar tree in that entire valley and could not find him anywhere. Yeah, and it was just so frustrating because we heard him flopping, we saw the blood gushing. So we were thinking maybe in the time between me shooting my bird and us getting out of the blind was about, what, an hour, hour and a half in between? Yeah, because if we waited, that way I could shoot my bird too. Yeah, so right? we thought maybe a coyote came in silent and grabbed the turkey or a bobcat some sort of predator because there was no reasonable explanation as to why we could not find that bird. And unfortunately it, it does happen, but we found Josh's right after. Yeah. So we, uh, I was like, well, we know my bird can't be far. Cause I, we walked up there, found my arrow. It's completely covered in blood and I was shooting a decapitating broadhead and I got a complete pass through on this Turkey. So you want to talk about total devastation on a Turkey. I mean, that's about as graphic as it can get. And so we started looking for my bird and uh, I was tracking a little bit of blood and we couldn't find him right away either. No. I was just like, well, what the heck is going on? It's like, I think Jacob's got Terminator turkeys over there. Yeah. They don't know how to die. 
You know, so we, we looked and looked and looked for this bird. So I hear Jacob whistling and I could tell there's something going on. So I peek over where I can see him and sure enough, he's waving me over. So I know he can see my bird. And we get over there and sure enough, my turkey is bedded down, still alive. I couldn't believe it. No. I just, it was beyond anything I could ever even understand. You know, I mean, that turkey took an arrow straight through its body with a three and a half inch cut. I mean, crazy tough yeah. how how much these turkeys can take. And you know what? I, I had another arrow, I was ready. I made another shot on him and it was a fatal shot and I got my bird. Well, we got him. This is by far the toughest turkey I've ever hunted in my entire life. Big, huge Nebraskan long beard. Oh, wow. This bird. Wow, look at that. Big That's old pretty. monster tom right there. Man, bow hunting turkeys is tough. I mean, anyone that's ever done it, they'll also tell you the same thing. These birds are absolutely tough. And I want to show you just how tough. So it went in right there, went through his entire body, and then came out right there. And he was still alive when we found him. We had to get another arrow in him. It's just unbelievable that these guys are as tough as they are. Big old Nebraska Tom down. We're here at Hidden Hills Outfitters, and uh, I gotta tell you, Jacob has got the craziest turkeys you've ever seen in your life. As you saw this morning, I, was, I told him when I showed up, I said, Jacob, I'll be happy if I just hear one. And <laughs> there was like a hundred of them in the trees. It was crazy. Oh, what a good time. So obviously I am still upset. I think anyone is who makes a perfect shot on an animal and can't recover it. You know, we practice so much to be the most ethical hunters that we can be. And when you don't recover that animal, it just, it tears you, it tears you up. Um, when we reviewed the footage, I saw that it had a double beard as well. And that's like, my ultimate dream is to kill a double bearded turkey. And to know that I got one and it somehow just vanished was extremely, extremely heartbreaking. So um, the, next, the next afternoon, we went back to the same farm where we shot our double, and we saw a few birds. Um, we, didn't, we didn't get a shot or anything, but it, it was- It was crazy windy. Yeah, it was uh, so windy. Like what, 25 plus mile an hour winds? Yeah. Yeah, it was, that's hard turkey conditions. Yeah, so we didn't have any turkeys come in the next night. Um, we were all packed up, walking back to the truck with Jacob and Logan when... Well, so Jacob and Logan were also up on top of the hill scouting turkeys too, because Jacob had a tag and he was trying to fill one himself. <laughs> and so they were up above where we were um, that first morning, and they were glassing. And with those crazy mile hour winds, Logan, our, one of our guides, he's glassing, and he sees tail feathers flapping in the wind. And he's like, no way... I'm pretty sure I just found Sarah's turkey. So yeah. they go down there. Sure enough, it's Sarah's turkey. Double beard, missing a tail feather. <laughs> exactly my turkey. And, and it, it was only, what, 40 yards from where you shot him? Not yeah, even that. But that. the cedars, we watched him and heard him flop behind us. And he actually circled around and went in front of us, which we never even looked in front of us because we watched him go behind us. Yeah. So he made a little loop, ended up dying only at maybe 60 yards from the blind. Yeah. But again, it's so tough with those cedars and everything else. Um, it was crazy, but so Logan finds the turkey. They're, they, they're trying to figure out how they're gonna tell Sarah. Yeah. So Logan tells me first, and I'm like, okay, should we just tell Sarah right now? I'm like, no, 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 let's surprise her back at the truck. Yeah. I said, this will be perfect. So I start rolling with my phone back at the truck. I'm all ready, and then they obviously tell Sarah. I can't believe Logan found this bird. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, congrats, babe. Look at that double beard. I'm always on a double bearded turkey. And that's not some like, oh, he's got like one little strand. No, that's like legit. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Yeah. Just cut, cut the big artery. Yeah, yeah look, there's that artery that runs down. I mean, you smoked him. Yeah. Sweet, babe. Good job. Thanks. <sighs> Look at that thing. Hi, Sarah. It's huge. <laughs> Thanks. Logan found my turkey. What? Where? Literally, probably 30 yards from where they were looking. Are you serious? We found it. Logan's like, Logan found yeah, my turkey. We, we sat up on that hill for like an hour. Are you serious? Oh 
And oh, it had two beers, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's like, the, it's like, yeah, like, like, so double. Oh, yeah. Two toms go right Dude, down. Dude, nice fight. They run down the bottom. We thought they shot one. They come running back out. They are coming back up the hill. I got on my knees and, like, got up a little bit higher. I lost sight of them with the fight. See, tail feathers flap in the wind. It was tucked underneath a tree. Yeah. Oh, seriously? So remember when its beak was, it was just... going like this? Like that? So we we thought it went behind the blind. It literally turned left and went and died in the cedar right there. Like parallel to the blind. Literally like right Are beside the blind. Yeah. yeah. So we never looked over there because we were looking constantly. We we'll always look behind the blind. So we yeah. walked right by it. So I got my double bearded turkey. I could not be more excited because it was my first double bearded tom ever. Huge bird, incredible hunt, just amazing story. I'm so grateful that we found him the next day and we just would not be possible without our incredible guides out there.